Hello and welcome to an update on Fidelity's global income strategy. My name is Izzy Halewood and I'm a senior investment specialist in the fixed income team. I'm delighted today to be joined by portfolio manager James Drantz. So James, could you start by telling us why investors should consider a global income strategy today? Global income um, yields have risen a lot around the world because of high levels of inflation. And even though government bond yields are now at the highest level they've been at for 15 years, they still don't always compete with levels of inflation. So investors are looking for ways to beat inflation and produce good levels of, of total return and, and income, but also without taking too much risk. And global income is a way that we can do that by investing in high quality credit across both investment grade and in some cases high yield in order to deliver those inflation beating returns. Okay, so from a long term perspective, what are the key benefits for investors? Sure, I think one of the main long term benefits for, of global income as a strategy is it doesn't have a benchmark. Now in credit benchmarks, you often get the problem that issuers become larger in the benchmark because they're issuing more debt. And that obviously carries risks because the issuers that issue the most debt therefore become the most leveraged and the most risky issuers. But we have a completely unconstrained and non-benchmark strategy, which means we don't need to go after those heavily indebted uh, or, or troubled issuers. And we can look for good opportunities from good quality credits all over the world. And when I say all over the world, we look at both developed markets and emerging markets, we look at investment grade and non-investment grade, we look at financials and we look at non-financials, and we work with our global team of, of credit analysts to pick out those best opportunities. Where are you seeing those opportunities and, and what's your outlook going forwards? One of the things that's very interesting about government bond yield curves at the moment is they're heavily inverted in some areas, particularly in the US. So we actually see quite a lot of value in the front end of the, of the US bond market, both in credit and in government bonds, whereas we think that the risk reward is a bit more balanced in terms of longer duration strategies. And that's one of the reasons why credit as an asset class is quite interesting because we can invest throughout the credit curve, but we don't need to concentrate only on long duration. In terms of sector allocation, we actually like financials quite a lot. So even though there have been problems with some of the US regional banks, as well as with Credit Suisse in Europe, we actually think that the European banking system at large is in very good shape and they've been reporting very good financial results um, and they're still able to pay dividends and they're certainly still able to service their debt. So we, we have a good position in, in European financials. Um, we also still like the energy sector, even though energy and oil prices have come under a bit more pressure this year, we actually think that energy is a much more strategic issue now uh, than, it, than it has been in the past several years. So we think that energy going forward is going to be better from a credit fundamental viewpoint uh, than it has been in the past. Great. Well, thank you so much for sharing your views today. Thank you. And thank you to everyone for watching. If you'd like any further information on the global income strategy, please do contact your local Fidelity representative. Thank you again for watching and goodbye.